Hi guys, today we are going to watch a quick video on how you can monitor options chain along with charts on GoCharting. So when you come to the chart page on gocharting.com, right? So suppose this is the nifty chart that I have in. And when you have this chart, you will see a new tab getting up, uh, uh, appear called options chain. When you click on the options chain, you will see the entire option chain for the current expiry, right? On the top, there are buttons which allow you to navigate through all the expiries of the option chain. So for example, this is the option chain that will expire in one day. If you hover over it, I can see that it will expire on 24th of November. Similarly, I can go to eight days, 15 days, 22 days. So this is how you are going to navigate through all the expiries. Now, as you can see, I can see the calls on the left hand side, the put on the right hand side and on the middle here in the yellow is the underlying, which is nifty spot, right? Now, the other important things that you can view here are on the top right corner, there's something called as a drop down called metric. So here I can choose whether I want to see the LTP, the last traded price or the ask, bid, volume, open interest, delta, gamma, vega, theta, all option Greeks in here and implied volatility. So for example, by default, it will be LTP, but if I wish to change it to say delta, I can just click on delta and now it is showing me the deltas of the calls and the puts associated with this option chain. So let me get back to LTP. So this is how you can view the option chain side beside your chart. Now the help that you are going to get, additional help are as follows. Here on the overlays, you can see the open interest here, okay? So if I click on the settings on the left-hand side, I can choose whether I want to see the overlays so I can disable it or enable it. By default, it will be open interest, but you can also change it to volume. So I can always overlay either the volume bars or the open interest bars just to get give me a sense of where the action is happening. Now, by default, it will be in charting mode. So if I hover over these cells, you can see these two buttons coming up on the both the call side and the put side so if you hover over the red one it will say add to chart and the green one it will say add to watch list so let's try them so suppose i'm in nifty chart and now i want to quickly shift and see the chart of 18400 call i can just go here to that particular strike price and click add to chart this will automatically change my chart to 18400 ce as you can see here this is the 18,400 CE. Similarly, I can go back to the Nifty chart. Now, if I wish to now add 18,450 to the watch list, that also I can do by clicking on this add to watch list. Now, when I click on this add to watch list, the my watch list appears and it, as you can see, 18,450 CE has been added, right? So this is how easy it is to monitor your options on the Nifty chart, right? So that is the additional facility that we have given. Another important thing that you can do here is you can click on the trading mode and on the if you are on the trading mode, then it won't show you the buttons to add to chart or watch list, but rather buttons to add, directly buy or sell that particular option strike. So if I am in Nifty and I see a great movement at around 18,000 and I wanna buy a call of 18,000, I don't have to go to, back and forth into my terminal into my broker terminal and all that all you have to do is just connect your broker on our right hand panel here okay and once you're connected you can use this buy sell buttons so i if i'm say in 18,000, i just go and click the buy button and it will automatically place the order of that particular strike call or put directly uh, from this option chain so this is how easy it is you know an aesthetically clean uh, ui to kind of monitor your options along with your price charts of nifty bank nifty or your spot thank you so much for your time we will come back in our next video on how to trade directly from the nifty chart on an underlying option contract so that's the second video coming up guys thanks